Hey what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. This is from Grid Legends and it's basically kind of secret under the radar DLC. Um, if you've been on Grid Legends anytime recently after the uh, Valentin's Car Classic Carnage DLC um, you probably wouldn't have even noticed that there is a sort of free DLC car added. Um, the only way you probably would have known is if you are following Grid Legends on the socials like Twitter and such where they've kind of put a few posts up about this car now. So yeah, I mean Grid Legends getting a little bit of a, a secret DLC car added in there. This is the Ford TFZ P1 and from what I can gather it's a bit of a joint effort with like Team Fordzilla. Uh, making a sort of car in the gaming world and then it go in real life um, if you may not know that this car is at Goodwood Festival of Speed um, this weekend I believe um, and Grid Legends also has their sort of name plastered all over the windows and such so I'm not really sure what their involvement is I don't know if they kind of had input in making this car um, I believe this is the first time it's actually appeared properly um, in a game so basically it just came out of nowhere it was just a little announcement that they made on twitter and um, that was the first place i knew of it and then it was just sat there um in the track day section in the hypercar section as you can see it came in three uh, different liveries you can actually put your own on there i believe and overall what is my opinion on this car um pretty damn awesome uh <laughs> it's uh basically like they made a hot wheels car and uh, kind of made it a real thing um really has massive Hot Wheels vibes for me. Um, the awesome little sort of brake sign that pops up when you brake it. So it's just, yeah, very quirky. That open back end, um, the, obviously the Active Aero, pretty damn awesome. Um, obviously this is a Ford machine. Uh, I'm guessing it's just gonna be a concept car, uh, but it is pretty cool to see uh, Grid Legends getting that kind of support where they're basically doing kind of what Gran Turismo does with the Vision Gran Turismo. Um, stuff as you know I kind of cover a lot of Gran Turismo 7 content to, so you know to see this kind of thing brought into Grid Legends uh, it's pretty awesome it's kind of cool to see it getting that kind of support um, and I'm hoping it's kind of going to be a kind of thing we get in the future where we're not just getting big packs we're kind of getting um, sort of free DLC uh, added in so like I said I mean I've already spoke about the look of it it just looks like a, a kind of a classic Hot Wheels style um, pretty awesome inside it's okay um, I don't know if it's just because I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo but it does feel kind of bland like yeah it's cool it's futuristic uh, very scenic to look out of the window and such uh, but it just feels like a bit of a bland interior nothing to really write home about it doesn't look as futuristic as the outside if you ask me uh, but it's still a you know, pretty decent looking interior if, you know, maybe just a little basic um, so let's talk about you know the overall sort of feel of the car and you know the sound and such. Um, it does sound absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know if you've really heard it much in the background. It's got a, a pretty decent sound to it. Looks wise, you know I've kind of touched on that. It really does stand out in this category. As you can see, I'm racing the other hypercars uh, in the game, and they're probably the closest match to it for like crazy looks. Is the uh, I believe it's the Valkyrie. Um, so yeah, really does stand out in its class. Um, overall performance wise it's okay um, for me it's not the best but still it's uh, you know it's very drivable one thing to know is that's actually quite weak um, if you do have the sort of four damage on and you know basically retirements and such uh, you will find then that open you know the open part of the back where the back wheels are uh, only takes a few hits and they can pretty much <laughs> crumble like paper really um, but yeah, I mean, performance-wise, like I said, it's okay. It's decent on its brakes. It's okay on its acceleration. Uh, it's just got that typical weird thing that Grid Legends does. Um, if you go over the curbs, there's quite a high chance. If you're not using throttle control, you're going to spin it. Um, but yeah, overall, a pretty cool little addition. Like I said, I really do hope that this is kind of more things to you know come in the future. And this is the start of Grid Legends maybe getting a little bit more support. As you can see, we've got a car rolling over um, over there. Um, you know, looking back on these replays and such, I did note that the cars feel like they kind of float a bit more. But I mean, like I said, I cover a lot of uh, you know Gran Turismo, and the cars seem pretty 
more, I'd say less floaty, more realistic uh, feeling. But when you watch the replays here, it does feel like a, a, you know, a few of the cars really do just uh, kind of float over the surface and don't have the best contact. But you know, that's just you know the game we're working with. But yeah, I mean, I can't really fault it. It's it's free. It's a pretty awesome addition. It's something that we've not really seen in any other racing game before. Um, so to see it kind of appear in Grid Legends does feel a bit weird. Um, I'm surprised it didn't go for, you know, maybe Forza, Gran Turismo and such to kind of promote this car um, or kind of show it off. But the fact that Grid Legends has got it is kind of maybe a step in the right direction for this game. And I do, like I said, I really hope this may be this. I hope it's not just a one-off and we kind of get more of these kind of free DLC cars for everyone really um, and, but like I said I mean it kind of went under the radar and if you kind of just um, sort of jumped on uh, and didn't look around you probably wouldn't know it was there and obviously if you're not following Grid Legends on Twitter and such you probably <laughs> didn't realise that there's a new car just kind of sat there for you um, I originally looked for a download link when I first saw it and I couldn't find one and then I hopped in and it was yeah like I said just just there uh, free normal liveries for it and then obviously you can uh, put your own on like pretty much every car um, in this game uh, pretty cool class for it to be added in really kind of bulks up this class now um, some of the classes are a bit lacking um, in grid legends still uh, but you know just to get that little extra car so I'll be, I believe there's like six cars in the track day hyper car class now so to bulk them up is, is pretty awesome and like I said I kind of hope we get that with uh, other classes as well um, even if it's not just concept cars maybe you know it could be a classic throwback touring car or another GT car and such uh, just to kind of make the classes a bit more I guess alive and uh, a bit bulkier feeling um, but that's where I am going to praise Grid Legends to be honest is its car selection is great um, yes there's not as many cars as maybe some other races I believe there's over a hundred and they are all pretty unique. There's a lot of cars that you won't really see anywhere else. Um, so it's, like I said, I mean, it's pretty awesome to see, like I said, cars like this um, added in. So maybe we will we'll be getting some more in the future, um, just to sort of bulk up the classes as well as your, you know, your usual DLC packs. And uh, obviously there's three more to go. And uh, there's been one release, which is the Valentin's Classic Carnage DLC. And then this car kind of snuck in there, maybe only like a day or two later, if that. So I can't really fault um, the you know the developer developers for you know adding a free car, uh, but I kind of just wish they'd done a little bit more, maybe promoting in the menus and such, just to kind of let us know it's there. Um, and to obviously see the pictures of this thing at Goodwood is uh, pretty awesome. I don't know if it's a fully functioning car or if it's just sort of a you know a rolling shell. Um, but who knows um, again fully branded fully you know licensed and such so hopefully it is a right you know step in the direction for grid legends and more kind of content like this to come in the future so there's not really much more I can you know majorly say on this uh, car really um, I'll kind of give you my opinion overall it's definitely not the strongest in class for me that is definitely still going to be the Aston Martin uh, that thing is an absolute machine and a bit of a monster. A uh, bit hard to get to grips with, uh, especially with the handling model in this game if you play other games. Um, yeah, coming back to Grid Legends, it's a bit of a strange feeling. Um, like I said, mostly I cover uh, Grand Turismo 7, so when I come back to this game, my driving is all over the place, so I'm sorry if my driving is not perfect. Um, but one thing to note, and it's going to be a feature that I pretty much always pick out in my grid, uh, videos is just how sort of dynamic the AI is you know them silly little mistakes that they'll they'll make and then they just go rolling off <laughs> uh, it's pretty awesome to, to kind of see and uh, if you've never checked out Grid Legends I believe it may still even be on sale and um, so I would definitely recommend checking it out for you know the price it's at now and uh, you know enjoying some something out something a little bit different from maybe you know your Forzas your Gran Turismo your eye racing something a bit less serious where you can just jump in have a bunch of fun and obviously being able to do co-op and uh, jump in multiplayer is a, an absolute awesome feature for this game and i'm kind of you know getting a little bit more excited i feel like i'm kind of coming back to this game a bit more now um as much as i kind of 
you know, I ain't the biggest fan of the DLC pack. Um, to kind of see little things like this added on really is kind of bringing me back to this game and I'm really starting to enjoy it for what it is. Um, I know a lot of people will just really flat out disregard this game saying it's too arcadey and all this, but that's kind of what Grid is. So if I honestly, in my honest opinion, check it out if you haven't already. So let's get on to the outro and I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you that supports my content each and every day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Cheers guys.